there, welcome back to Over the Mooney and my ridiculous bow. I love it so much. Ah. Anyway, let's get into some magic mail and some Disney Halloween goodies. Hey there, my name is Katie and welcome to or welcome back to Over the Mooney. Whether you are new here or a returning friend, then thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. If you are new, please think about hitting that subscribe button down below. I post tons of Disney content and I will be so excited to be posting some Halloween things coming up very soon because somehow October is just creeping up on us so quickly. By Disney standards, it is pretty much already Halloween, so we have nothing to worry about. <laughs> so I have a couple Halloween things to show you guys. I have a couple magic mail things to show you. I did some trades, so I thought that I would share some stuff with you guys. So I'm going to start with the Halloween goodies. So the first thing that I got, I picked up myself. It is from Spirit Halloween, which is a great, great store, not only for costumes, but just for fun merchandise. And they've started to have a lot more fandom stuff lately uh, over the past couple years. And so I was just kind of wandering around and I happened upon their mug section. And I'm, I'm kind of on a mug ban. I've been very good. I haven't bought a mug in a very long time. But I broke the mug ban. Not that I'm thinking that this is going to like open up floodgates or anything by any means, but it was so pretty and I couldn't not buy it. So it is this gorgeous poison apple mug and I love, I'm a sucker for anything that is this, whatever you call this. I don't know what it is, I don't know what it's called, like rainbow iridescent or something, I don't know, I don't care, I just love it. I love it. I'll have to bring you in because I don't even feel like it's kind of picking up as beautiful as it is because it's just all rainbow and perfect. On the inside it says one bad apple and over the PP and apple it has the evil queen's crown. I do have this one from a couple years ago. I think they might still make this. So this one is just like a shade bigger than that one, than the original one. But I just, I don't know what it is. I'm just such a sucker over the past couple years for anything that's poison apple. Like I just... I love it. I think it's so cool looking. Alright, so then for some Disney Parks Halloween goodies, my friends Noelle and Samantha went down to the parks, I believe last year, last week at this point. Um, and they're sisters, so they went with their whole family. And they got to go to the very first Mickey's Not So Hollow, Not So Scary Halloween party because why not start them in the middle of August, right? It's just perfect time for Halloween. Um, <laughs> so they did get to go to the very first one. They had a lot of fun, and they were able to pick me up some goodies, which I'm so grateful for. And they put it in one of the trick or treat bags. So on one side it has Frozen 2, and on the other side it has Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. And then on either side it says Happy Halloween, Trick or Treat, Disney Parks. They got me two treats, which I'm very excited about, and I'm totally just gonna take back to work to share with them because I don't need to eat this all on my own and they didn't even get to try them they just purchased them for me which is really nice of them so the first thing that I got was candy corn popcorn which is so much fun and I love the illustration on the front for the packaging too it says happy Halloween 2019 and it has everybody kind of dressed up like some sort of spooky character which is super cute I'm really excited to taste this we have tea at work every day of course, like <laughs> like normal people do. We have a tea time at three o'clock every afternoon. It just is a nice way to break up the afternoon and just make the second part of your day go a little bit faster. And we generally will have some sort of treat with our tea. So Noelle actually brought back some of the, I think it's Walker's brand shortbread cookies. And I had brought some back two trips ago. I completely forgot to pick them up last trip. Um, but Noelle brought some back this time so we've been having those and then once those are out we'll start eating these for our treats so I'm very very excited to dig into these and then they also brought back pumpkin spice frosted pretzels which sound 
so incredibly delicious. This one has a different artwork on the label. So we just have Mickey dressed up like a vampire with the castle in the background looking all spooky. Uh, some jack-o'-lanterns and everything. So very cool. I'm very excited to try these. That sounds absolutely delicious. They also picked me up a pin and it is a Maleficent pin and it says boo to you Mickey's not so scary Halloween party and this is in a limited edition pin. I think it says it is 5600. Oh fun I didn't notice that <laughs> and it has a sliding element so you slide it one way and it's just Maleficent with pumpkins and then you slide it this way and it has like her little henchman guys. But I've just been on such a Maleficent kick the past couple of years. She's just really grown on me a lot as a villain so I'm really stoked to have this pin in my collection. And the backer card is actually really cool too because it is like the castle as a haunted house which I know is kind of the theme of the new fireworks show that they have going on at the castle so that's really fun too. they also picked me up an ornament which is really cool I think I might get like one of those like stands the ornament stands with like the hook so that you can just kind of hang them um, because I don't have like a Halloween tree or anything but I love this ornament so I want to have it uh, somewhere in my background or downstairs or something in our Halloween um, decorations and it is actually a um, hocus pocus ornament which is really really cool so on one side it has Binks with his gravestone and it's actually like right in front of Cinderella's castle which is kind of cool. I love that the representation of Binks on here I think is just adorable. So I'm gonna have a tough choice deciding which side to display. I might have to like switch it up because then on the other side is the Sanderson sisters and it says Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular and they're leaning over a cauldron with the castle in the background and I just think that the illustration on this ornament is really really cute. are two pieces of magic mail from my friend Becca. We have traded before several times and every time, <laughs> I feel like every time we trade, we trade again and then again and again, which is awesome because it's nice to have a good trading bet, trading buddy, especially considering I don't have a ton of people to trade mystery minis with and that is what we trade mostly. Uh, we actually did a pin for a mystery mini trade which is fine by me. She helped me complete one of my pin collections and I helped her on her way to completing one of her mystery mini collections and I know I said I probably wasn't going to have a lot more pin mail on this channel. I still hold to that. I'm not going to but you'll see once I show you guys what it is. It'll probably make sense maybe if you've watched my pin videos before. I'm gonna go with this one first because it is the first trade that we did. So it has a note in here that says, thank you for the trade again. I hope this brings you closer to completing the set. I got a Animal Kingdom 20th anniversary map, which I love getting these maps. So then Becca just throws in all sorts of goodies into these trades, which just floors me every time. I got a Bambi Zoom, which I just miss these things so much, these little accessories. They're so cute. And so it comes with a Bambi Zoom and a little place for him to stand on. And then there's like a little butterfly that flies over top of him. So that's such a cute little set. And then I have this fun little detective stitch sticker here which is so adorable. I have a Maleficent as the dragon button. I have a stitch button which is just his cute little face. And then <laughs> I have the mystery mini that I traded her for which is the little Toy Story alien. So I'm very very happy to have him in my collection because he's just so stinking cute. So I don't have a lot of alien representation in my Toy Story collection. Sorry, looking down here is, where is my arm? Here <laughs> is my Toy Story shelf. So uh, I was just looking to see if I had a lot of them, which I don't. So I'm happy to have him added. And then she also threw in this cute little alien um, pin as well. So, so many little goodies in this package. So let me give you a close up of everything. Mystery mini, and then this is the trade for.
for the pin. A lot of extra very sweet goodies inside here as well. So once again, we did get a little guide map. We got the Disney Springs Halloween edition with these adorable little cake pops on there that I want so bad. It just goes through September and all of the fun things that are happening at Disney Springs that you can do. I wish I could be there. That sandwich looks really yummy too. I've never tried Earl of Sandwich. If you've tried Earl of Sandwich, let me know. I've heard good things. So then I... I just love the theming of this because I think that you guys are going to think that this is going to go in one way, but I'm going to take you in another way. But the theme will all kind of make sense, I think. So we got two little candies. We got grape, which I love grape flavored candy. Um, we got a grape high chew and a grape grape laffy taffy. <laughs> one of my, my old boss now. My coworker, she, she used to have Laffy Taffy in her office all the time and we would just crack each other up over the jokes because they were just not good. I mean, they're from kids, so there's that. I'll tell you guys some jokes. What do you call a king's rabbit? <laughs> the answer is the hair to the throne. But up bum and then the other one is, what's a good spot for a taste bud? And then the, the answer is, I forgot. It's on the tip of my tongue. Ha! Ha! Love Laffy Taffy jokes. They're so wonderful. So then we also got this awesome Maleficent postcard, which is so pretty and so cool. It says, self-proclaimed. Self mistress of all evil since 1959. I love this so much. And then we also got a Maleficent button, which is so cool too. It has the thorns all over the place and everything. Oh, I love it. So you're probably thinking to yourself that the pin is going to be a Maleficent pin, but it's not. But it makes sense because the pin that I got is an Ursula pin. And Ursula is the queen of purple, am I right? So all of that purple leads to Ursula. And I also got zapped with a Jafar hidden Mickey pin, which is really cool. But the pin that I traded for was the Ursula one that goes with the new line of villains hidden Mickeys. I had the Ursula chaser, I just didn't have the regular Ursula. So now I have that entire line of Villains Hidden Mickeys, which is really fun, and I love this Jafar one too. I don't know when this one was from. It doesn't have the waffling, so it's older. It is from 2009, and I really, really like that pin a lot too. Jafar is one of my favorite villains, so I'm happy to add that to my small Jafar collection on my pin board, but so excited to have the Ursula to complete my villains pin collection. So that is everything that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed it. So let me know what your favorite thing was in this fun little haul slash magic mail slash gift type video. <laughs> I'm gonna have a fun time naming this one. And let me know if we're twins on anything. Pin twins, mug twins, snack twins, whatever kind of tri twins we are, <laughs> let me know. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!